Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on create, delete and modify local user accounts. Uh, so we have created accounts before but um, this will go through the creation, removing, um, UIDs, GIDs, that sort of thing. So it's another one of those objectives that we have to cover. So as always let's uh, launch the terminal and go get in as a administrative user. Let's do sudo bash. Oh. So the first one is pretty self-explanatory. It's just user add and then the username. So we just give it I think user two because I've got user one already. So it'll add the user. Um, so once we've created the user we can check what's been created. So we can do cat etc. Um, group and then we can do a grep for that user so it's user 2 and where user 2 has been created and that, that is the group ID so uh, as part of adding a user there was also a group added with the same um, account name so there's a user 2 user and a user 2 group added so with all users when they're created they get created with a particular user ID which is like a unique number and a group ID because we've got that group being added as well. Uh, so they ha they have to be unique on the system uh, and they get automated, automatically created. So uh, like I showed you earlier we can um, see that for within the etc group for the particular user. So in, in this case we can see in etc group um, user 2's uh, group ID is 1005. We can actually see both of them in uh, etc. password. And if we do a grand group grep for user 2, we'll get the that's the user um, ID and that's the group ID. So it's the 1005. So, and you can see if it's got home directory there, so it's home user 2 and it's using bin bash as its default shell. So if we go uh, ls home user to there's actually in fact a directory there which is cool great so if we wanted to um, specify the user ID and the and all the uh, group ID we can actually do that quite easily as part of the user creation if you'd like it to add the user to a particular um, user ID or group ID you can do that at the user add command prompt so let's do user add again this time we're going to say minus u give a, a new UID and then minus G and you've got to give an existing GID so I think it was 1005 is the one and user 2 user 3 so we'll add that to the same group as user 2 in this case and that's done now that. so we can double check that again so we can do a cat etc password and we can grep for let's just grep for user find a user one two and three there so you can see yeah one uh, two as and three both are belong to one zero zero five which is actually user two's local group we can do a quick group add let's create um, let's do it so just create a new group called uh, it etc group and then the script for it okay that's one thousand and six is the uh, group ID so obviously you can see the trend there is just ticking over to the next one over and over again. Okay, so if you want to add someone, uh, if you want to create a new user and add it to a particular particular group, we can do again user add minus g um, and then what what group? So it and then the username. So it'd be user four and we can do. You can see user 4 is now a member of that group. So the next part would be to actually delete some of these users <laughs> because uh, you can see it's made that quite a mess. So to delete a user, it's just user del and then the username. So let's do user 4 for example. We do that same crep for IT. So the user, the actual group is still there, but now the user 4 has been removed from that group, obviously, as part of the cleanup. Um, but what you will know, notice is if we do an ls
you can see that user 4 still has its home directory. That's because when we did the user del, we didn't use the minus r to do a full removal of everything. So that includes removing all the home directories and mail spools and all that sort of stuff. So if we just do a, just do a clear again. Um, so we just do a manual removal of that directory. So let's do minus minus r home user 4. Yes. Just delete all that. Yeah, you can use, and no, I'm using the minus R or minus RF as you probably have seen elsewhere. Um, minus R just means recursive, so I want to go through and delete everything within that directory. Um, however, using the F will automatically force that. Um, and in some cases, especially for removing home users' home directories and stuff, I generally don't recommend using RF because if you type something wrong and you get the wrong user, you've lost that data um, and there will be no backups. So minus R is, is fine. You can just go through and click the Ys. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, it's it's up to you. Of, of, course, of, you, of course, if you're sure it's not the, you've got the right directory and you're okay to delete, then you can do a minus R. So let's for user four, user three, sorry, let's do a minus R and then user free, sorry, user add, I want to use a del, sorry. Okay, so that's got to return the prompt. If we do an ls minus l htr, and then just do home user, we only have what user one, user two, so it's much cleaner that way. So if you want to, re if you're really sure you want to delete everything about that user, you pretty much use the user at del at minus r, and you'll clean it up a bit more, a bit better. The final thing I want to cover really is just how to modify a user. Uh, another thing I want to cover is um, how to modify users. So it's actually a user mod command line. A good example is maybe renaming the user. Uh, so we could do a user mod uh, minus l. And we can say we've got user, say we're going to give it a username of user five and we select user two. So now if we do a cat, etc. password and grip for user two, it still returns. Do you know why? Because the home directory will not be renamed. But that's okay. The actual username's been renamed, but the home directory stays the same as we know. That's fine. We can always, you could re rename the um, home directory using the uh, MV, but you'd have to update all the environment variables as well to uh, point it to that. For the sake of this, that's all we need to cover. Uh, finally, I think we'll just do a uh, an action to change the password of a particular user, so if they've forgotten it, and we could just say uh, PAS or pass WD, uh, and then select the username. Let's do user one and see it's past change the password of user one and we will just set it to something new. Easy as that. Uh, all passwords are actually stored in the etc shadow directory uh, file, sorry. Um, but as you can see, it's nicely encrypted with this long string there. So that's actually the password there. Um, but as you can see, it's yeah, nicely encrypted. Uh, that pretty much covers it. So uh, again, thanks for watching my videos as always. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, click the notif notification bell for notifications of when my new videos come out. I've included my Ko-fi page now on the screen now uh, to drop any donations if you don't mind. That would be awesome. Then I've got my merchandise store on TeePublic uh, for anything uh, if you if you've got any uh, spare change and you uh, want to support this support the channel then yeah please uh, check out the uh, merchandise on there and finally I've just got my uh, discord page um, you're welcome to uh, join up to discord with me and ask any questions that you may have yeah thanks again for watching uh, catch the next video thank you